Okay, your vendor has received the purchase order once it goes to the issued status. So let's go in and observe some things that have changed and some options that are available to us. So notice that some disabled fields now have been applied. You can no longer change the destination, the vendor, terms, shipping strategy, and shipping cost are locked in place as well as how many of each order you've ordered, how many of each item you've ordered, and the price of each item. Status, switch over to issued, and now you have two options available to you here, reopen and cancel, right? Cancel is self-explanatory, it would cancel the purchase order outright. Reopen would kick the status of the purchase order back into draft status and allow you to edit some things in case maybe you didn't want to order the second line item or you didn't order enough and you need to change this from three to five or to seven, whatever it's going to be, change the price around. The only caveat to be aware of for uh, reopening and or canceling purchase orders is that you can only do this if you coordinate with your vendor that you're going to be doing so. So this is kind of enforced when you try to click on the button for canceling. It says this purchase order has already been issued to the vendor. If you cancel it, you will need to ensure that the vendor has not already shipped any slash all of this order. That way you don't get duplicate orders, right? Or you try to cancel it, you think you don't want it, and they still send it, and then you get into an argument with your vendor, whatever the situation may be. So you would have to confirm with them before you're able to go ahead and cancel and or reopen a purchase order. So now that we're in the issued order status, one of the options you're gonna have, right now we're considering this as an inventory mirror light user, so kind of the lighter version of it and not the full version of it. With light, you would have to keep track of your reception of each good by hand. So if I got my shipment in and I see that good, I have my one, sorry, my one, two, three, and four of this, and they also sent me my one, two, and three of this. Great. I would click save purchase order. This purchase order would then kick over to received, and then order would then switch over to completed once it is completely paid for as well. If I'm an inventory mirror full user, I don't need to keep track of any of this reception by hand that's done by warehouse workers and the inventory mirror app. You would scan the SKU off of the box and pallet of what you're receiving and then enter in how many you got and then this gets automatically updated via that method.